Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I'm Nye, and that's Mako. I'm still here. <laughs> yep, Mako's still here. So, for the majority of the Calm Lands, there's a lot of stuff to do in the Calm Lands, but we're not going to be doing it right now. Uh, most of it is late game content. So we're going to basically completely ignore 90% of what we were supposed to do in the Calm Lands, basically because there's just no freaking point. My will is strong. A lot of what you end up doing here is going to be prep shot, prepping for later stuff. Yeah. So there's just, there's no point in doing it right now. We're going to ignore it and just we're going to push our way towards more of the game, basically. That's the plan. So the first thing we're going to do is push our way through these random enemies. Uh, I don't believe there's nothing for uh, Kamari doing that. Um, nothing that he shouldn't already have. Because he should have Stone Gaze. He should have, uh... I don't think there's anything else in this area. Uh, you know what we should probably do? We mm -hmm. should probably use all these spheres that we have. It might be a wise idea. I forgot that I had a ton of them. We did do a very tiny bit of leveling. Uh, didn't do much, but mostly I just wanted to make sure that we had, um... We have yet another boss fight right around the corner. Okay, let me ask myself. Do I really want zombie attack? I can't think of very many situations in which it's sort of useful at applicable. all. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good if you want to play. It's good for a very specific strategy, but I can't name a single time where I've heard that strategy be useful. Well, because the problem is, anytime you want to turn an enemy into a zombie, so basically zombie says that healing hurts you, and that's about it. That's the only really big difference I know of off the top of my head. And uh, the only times you'd ever want to use that are times, like, for instance, we, we were just fighting uh, Seymour back in Makalania, where he was getting healed by his minions. But nine times out of ten, if that's the case, they're immune to, you know, uh, um, that sort of thing anyways. So I don't think we're going to be using much of that. Okay, so Kamari's going to keep on moving. Yeah, we just wanted to... We're going to have another boss fight right around the corner here. It's going to happen this episode, even. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that we uh, had stuff happening. Yuna has just learned Kuraga, so Yuna has an even higher level um, heal going on. Which I don't think we're necessarily going to need anytime soon. I think regular Cura should be enough to... Uh, Kira is going to do you more or less for quite some time. Yeah, it's going to last for a long time. So we're just going to keep on moving towards the right side of the map. I would say we're going to go uh, east here, but given that the camera turns and not so much. There's a couple chests sort of in the southeastern corner that have some money in them. Yeah, I can ignore those safely. I'm just going to kill stuff. We don't really care about the fights here as much. Uh, we're really powerful for this time. I don't think I'm over-leveled, but I think I am leveled fairly sufficiently right now. So I'm not going to really bother much with anything else. So we're just going to kind of push on through. I might have Lulu, actually. Yeah, because that's actually dealt a fair amount of damage to me. Now, why didn't he... Oh, because he doesn't have fire on him. That's why. So we do have magic counter on Titus. Which makes him kind of unkind to uh, magic using enemies. Well, does, I thought magic counter had you counter it with magic. No, it makes you counter magic attacks rather than physical attacks. Oh, so if, if you give counter attack to him too. Yeah, he'll counter anything. Basically, if a flan targets him with magic spells, he will he will whack the flan into next week. Yeah, and really I'm not did. I'm not sure that I'm not sure if uh, counter attacks don't ignore, like, the standard defensive properties? No, no, no. It, 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 it's still defending pretty well against that. Mm. You'll notice that Waka is starting to get pretty high uh, agility now. He's starting to take multiple turns before the enemies are, and that's kind of what we're aiming for um, when it comes to our uh, characters now, is we're aiming to have... See, there! Oh, wow! That was a thing. There's some magic counter for you. Mm-hmm. But, um, oh, we got a Deathbringer. Oh, those are beautiful. For Titus, too. Yeah, I've had Very him cool. carry. If that's what I think it is. Um... Death Touch plus two empty slots. Yep, that's what I thought it is. It's rather yeah, that's nice. Pretty, that's really nice. A number of enemies are immune to the f are, are are now like getting to the immune to uh, Stone Touch, but very few enemies are immune to Death Touch. I mean, it's a guaranteed death. Now, the only problem is you're not going to be getting um, you're not going to be getting overkills. 
So, right. and as Mako said a couple episodes ago, you're making up for uh, the quality of overkills with the quantity if you kill everything very, very fast. Very fast. So, you know, it, it's kind of it's kind of a thing. But keep in mind, we're doing a lot of overkills very quickly, too. We're killing most things in one hit. So I'm not sure if it's necessarily needed to go for Death Touch right now. <laughs> that's, that's for something later on. Enough. As you see, before the enemy actually had the chance to really attack attack, we had everybody killed. The 1B had a chance, and that's really about it. Right. Getting high we're, potions and our loot. Yeah, we're coming up on a little spot that we will have very little to do with now, but we're going to have to come back to later. Well, we're going to have a lot more to do with this than you might think. So this is this really weirdly animated area is the Monster Arena, or Monster Zoo. I forget what they call it. So technically, you can fight monsters here to level up and a lot of stuff. They drop. You can drop fight specific monsters, and they also, there are also ones that drop like special bonuses and all that. In addition to that, you can eventually fight specific bosses that can only be found here. Right. Now they say that this used to be used as a training place for the Crusaders. Yep. Well, um, you find you find evidence of the Crusaders around here too. Right. The catch is that all the monsters have run away, so you're going to have to go and catch some yourself. Yep. It's kind of nice. So what we want to do... Yes, 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 yada, yada, yada. So what he's telling me is that I have to catch each individual monster, and I have to have a special weapon in order to do it. Unfortunately, I must now buy the weapons. There's one weapon for each character. Uh, they all have the ability capture, which cannot be gotten any other way, as far as I'm aware. And, um... They all cost this nine thousand. Um, they, they, they all cost the same price. Basically. I'm gonna go ahead and buy one for uh, Titus, Oran, and Waka. So every basic person has one. He also has items we can buy, just in case you need items for the next fight. And that's all we're gonna do. There's also the save point behind him if you want to. If, if for some reason you want a save point and you haven't used the one that's the one that's before or the one that's literally like on the next screen. Yep. It's also good if you want to like take on the bosses. Um, later on, we'll be you'll come back and you'll fight stuff here. It's noted that this is like one of the oh few my. places where. Oh, oh boy. Um, these you can lance it. Okay. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna haste up because I don't feel like Let's dealing with this. Quickly. Yeah. Anybody who knows Final Fantasy knows that these things can be a pain. And then we're gonna change weapon to catcher. Which you will then use to attack. And Orin, you're going to change your weapon to one that's all the way down here, Beastmaster. So don't don't forget, you want to lance it that thing before you kill it or yeah. capture it. We're going to lance it in just a second, specifically now. Because bad breath lets you inflict pretty much every status element under the sun to whatever to everything in front of you. If it lands. If it lands. Well, it does enough statuses that almost certainly one will land. Yeah. It's just not necessarily the one that you want. He does his Taming Sword, which is the exact same um, model as his previous weapon. And now this thing's got a bad breath. Oh, dear. Uh, nope, it's just going to eye laser you. Basic attack. Awesome. That's amazing. These okay. things can be seriously dangerous if you're not prepared, because uh, confusion is bad enough. Well, rather, all the other statuses are bad enough, but confusion... Notice how, also, when you when you hit him with the capture weapon, they don't flop over and turn into fireflies because you haven't killed them. Also, we just got a new weapon called Razmataz. What does that do? I haven't seen Let's that. Let's find one. out. I don't recognize that name. I want to sell some of those leftover weapons, Dark Touch too. and Sleep Touch. Nice. That's not actually... as nice as the Deathbringer, but... Well, it's actually not bad, so if I remember correctly... Actually, that's a really good weapon. Uh, it's not as good as um, First Strike is, but it's really good. I need to remember to sell these weapons at some point. Yeah, I, I sort of think because you, you can actually run out of weapon storage space. Yeah, we have a lot of extras. Okay, so this is why we wanted to make sure we had a ton of weapons available. Specifically, I wanted one of every type, so I can just make sure... Oop, I need to make sure that TS gets it is pulled out, too. We want one of every type, because we can just capture everything as we go. 
for those playing along at home, um, there is a bonus for doing things like capturing all of the particular enemies in an area. Yep, or all of the enemies of one species, or all the particular enemies of yada yada yada, insert something. Right, you, you can capture a maximum of 10 of a particular enemy type, and I think there's a reward for doing that as well, so... Yep. And eventually I'm gonna do... Oops. No, I do not... Ooh, oh, that's a cool looking sword. But I don't want to... But yeah, I don't know, um, I'm not gonna be doing that sort of thing on screen. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna be do, I'm gonna do that on my own time when I'm off screening. So all I'm gonna, you know, inflict upon you guys is we're going to capture on the way. But uh, I'll do most of it off screen. That way you guys don't have to watch me flail about. The only downside about doing this is I have to give him Sonic Steel again every time we exit the thing. <laughs> Which is obnoxious. Okay, so that was interesting. That's the only thing I'm gonna show off in the Coblands right now because there's just there's nothing else. Um, <laughs> you notice how it said ambushed, and then I all of a sudden wasn't ambushed? Let's go ahead yep. and don't want to energy rain. Ambushing is something that happens to other people. Yeah, not people who have first strike. Ha, ah, you missed. He didn't. Okay. You know what something else that happens to other people? Not capturing monsters. <laughs> Except Tidus didn't have his capture weapon on at the time. Damn! Oh, you just murdered him. Yeah, but I captured that one. There you go. Good stuff. Apparently these these weapons have teleportation skills because that monster just went directly to the capture farm. Don't ask me. I don't know. Well, teleportation exists. We know it exists. Yep, we Why saw fight it? We saw a walker do it. Speaking of a walker, we're going to see him soon. Yep. Somewhere up ahead. Okay, ooh, save point. And yep. I don't want this one. Hello, talk to me? There we go. No, I do not feel like playing Blitzball. But in case you were curious, this is when you can play Blitzball again. Is there you, a... You can start doing it from the uh, midway point after, after what's his name, the priest, talks to you. Yep. Uh, back in the middle of the Calmlands. That's, that's the point at which it sort of becomes open again. When they make it kind of oh. clear that, well, you're not forgiven, but nobody has time to bother with you right now. Nobody's chasing after you too busy trying to put out fires. Pretty much. Most of which we started. Well, they can't blame me for that. Okay, so we run over this bridge, and people are, hey, look, chasing after me. I have killed so many of you bastards. Why Summons are you bothering me Lord now? Seymour. Oh, hey, these Come two look familiar. Us. Yep. No, I don't think I'll be coming with you to see Lord Seymour. I'm not particularly Seymour. interested. He's he's dead, and I've killed him like four times now. An, an unusual yes, show of spine way. from Yuna for once. Yep. Lord Seymour's commands must be obeyed. I don't feel you like obeying come. you. You're uninteresting and you look weird. The Maester doesn't need you alive. <laughs> I love this comment. We are warning you. The Maester doesn't need us alive. We can totally do something. And here it summons a golem. I don't know where it got a golem, but it has a golem, apparently. And. And they just kind of walk off because they're like, well, this will handle the problem. So this is our new boss fight. This thing. Okay. By all means, guys. It's not as if, you know, I've beaten the crap out of hardier enemies. Okay, so what are we gonna do to this thing? I don't know. What am I gonna do to this thing? You know what, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna change weapons. This, this thing is, as you can probably guess, it's inhumanly slow, but it, it, it hits like a mad truck. Mm -hmm. In fact, that is pretty much its only thing. Um, oh yeah, and it's mostly, well, I won't say it's immune to physical damage, but physical damage is not something you know it has that to worry about. I'm gonna prove that wrong. Yeah, physical damage is not something it worries about. Let's just put it that way. Oh no, it countered. Right here. Let's see how immune it to stuff it is after I use Vanishing Blade. Yeah, Vanishing Blade is going to basically make it... It's not going to be a problem anymore. Nope. <laughs> Orin with Bushido 10. It's a joke that no one's going to get. <laughs> oh, wow, that was a lot of damage. Yep. And, of course, it inflicts a whole bunch of breaks on it, which means that that ceases to be a problem for us. And now we start doing damage. 
Oh, oh, by the way, that blast punch? Nope. Uh, well, and it you'd, still lands that. You'd rather, yeah, it, darkness doesn't seem to affect blast punch. Um, but the haymaker it makes will clobber anyone, especially Yuna and Lulu. What about Riku? Will it clobber Riku? Oh god, it'll, it'll turn Riku into a fine paste. Well, it has lunar curtains, so Riku's gonna stay out for a while. Oh, let's see. Can I slow it? Is it immune to slow? Yeah, well, it's a boss. It's usually immune to slow. It's too slow. You're better off sticking with haste well, for your main markers. Nope, immune. Okay, you need to go away. Um, I don't want to kill it that fast. I want to kill it that fast. Let's see. Let's go ahead and summon Bahamut. Bahamut, and he just soften up a stone wall. <laughs> You're my wrecking ball, buddy. One dose of Bahamut will, will pretty much take this thing down to critical status. I'm kind of curious. Let's find out. Actually, I think it'll take more than one dose of Bahamut. Because remember, Bahamut, uh, well, yeah. can break limit. It only does like 13,000 damage at a time. So I'm not sure if this thing sells 46,000 health. And yeah, we only did twenty thousand damage. Well, I said it take take his takes it down a notch at least. Ow. Double ow. And there comes the haymaker. And away goes Bahamut. Oh well. That meanwhile, sucks. Meanwhile, Bahamut's just sort of what hit me. <laughs> well, I did like I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Okay. So your kind. Oh, we already tested the Buster. Doesn't work on us. We need the Buster. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? You know what I want to do? Mm -hmm. I want to throw a barrel at it. Hey, Titus. Go ahead and use that. More damage. Riku is going to steal from it. Because I could use more little curtains. Or not. That's fine. Uh, every every subsequent steal is a lot harder, so... And it's Waka's turn. Okay, Waka. Let's see if I can actually do it this time. Eventually, I'm going to get 15 attacks out of this. Oh, -ho! yes, here it is. Ready for 15 attacks? Lots and 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 lots of attacks. Overkill. I wasn't joking. Waka is basically the most powerful attacker. You know how much damage he just did? Oh, I didn't get everybody into the battle! Oh no! That sucks. Eh, it's not like he drops anything really noticeable. Two level two keys here. Yeah, we did, uh, by and there's, by the way, there's no storyline for that. Yeah. Like, you beat it. Congratulations. There was nothing special about that boss. It was just kind of a... I'm not going to say it was a filler boss, but it was a filler boss. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so, he was there. But yeah, that was... Let's see, Waka did 15 attacks at roughly 30,000 da or 3,000 damage apiece. That's a lot of damage. This isn't the way in? That way leads down into the valley. So, down into the valley wow, is this you know way. Your way around, yeah? Lulu knows exactly where huh? this is going. You'll notice that she's not exactly happy about talking about this. There's a reason for that. But no, this is not the way I'm supposed to be going, as you can tell by that big red arrow up there. This is how much I care about this is not the way I'm supposed to be going. You can tell that by the fact that I'm still walking in this direction. But you can also tell this is the end of the episode by the way that I'm hitting save, and I'm telling you guys that I'll see you next time. So there's that too. <laughs> we'll see y'all later.